Hey, this is Second Soundwave, and as you can see, my review table is covered with my work in progress, which is currently the Master Raid Blitz Gunner. So I've got sprues over here, sprues over there, most of the inner frame right here. But that's not what we're talking about right now. I'm just showing this here because I'm, this is why I'm not doing this on my usual professional review table, because this is my review table right here. Because I got two boxes of Gunpla in the mail. One I ordered back in January with the Blitz Gundam, and another that I actually ordered a couple weeks ago. They both shipped at the same time, apparently, mm -hmm. and, well, let's see what's in it, because there's some cool stuff here. First up is the Ario Gundam. It's from Double O, it's a high grade kit. Looking pretty cool. Uh, I kind of got this just to fill out an order, basically, but. It looks pretty cool. It's got awesome box art here. Um, it's another one by Nauchika Morishita. He always does very cool box art. I love his work. Um, pretty cool. Also in that same package, I got the Astria Type F. This one I was really looking forward to. I immediately got this when um, Hobby Search got it back in stock. It's a great looking kit. It's one I've been looking for for a while. Got all sorts of weapons, some of which are actually meant for other kits in the line that did not come with their correct weapons. Um, good picture of it's actually from the manga. It's from Double OF, and apparently also from something called Double OI. Hmm, not sure what that is. Another uh, Nachika Marishita um, work of art here. Very, very cool. I also got. A Gundam Age marker set because Hobby Search was sold out of the normal one. Seems like the only difference is that there's a dark navy blue instead of gray, which is kind of unfortunate because gray is a useful color. Now what's neat is the black marker is actually like a mechanical pencil thickness. It's very, very fine and meant for panel lining. Sometime I'll probably have to get a normal thickness black just so I have something to do detail work with. But just a set of markers. I also got gold and silver markers as well. Um, and so I'd have something to practice painting on. I got an old school high grade fighting action Tall Geese 3. Now, this kit's pretty neat. Um, it could be built as any of the versions of the Tall Geese. I'm going to do a separate unboxing of this because there's actually some interesting stuff going on with this. But, yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm going to try to get the uh, heavy arms sometime because I like that. I like the look of the EW version. It's a shame that there's no mass rate of it. But, that's not all because I also got. Rounding all this out is the S Gundam. This is another um, older kit. The box size really surprised me because it's actually the same size box as a standard high grade. It's just vertical. Love the box art on this. Looks really cool. It's super old school. This is like a 1988 release, so pretty darn old. Um, as you can see by the unpainted picture there, it's a terrible looking kit, but I'm going to do some paint work on this and make it look awesome. So, that is my Gunpla haul for this Thursday, March whatever -eth. I'll throw together some unboxings and some reviews of this stuff, and I guess you'll see me then.